came to tell you what God, where God picked me from. Some of you, you want to be like Shema Jesus. Do you know the story? Never you be like anybody. Never you. Because some people will just see you, will say, I want to be like you. I want to be like you. Never you be like anybody. This is a testimony of a woman of God. Shoma Jesus, Nigeria gospel musician, saying to everyone how she suffered, how she started life, had everything, all what she went through. So never be anybody. Be yourself. So that is the main reason why I carry this video. This is if you're first time of coming across my Facebook page, my YouTube channel, please like and follow the page, Jerry Wife page. As you do, God will bless you. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you for watching my video. Let me stop it here because I want you guys to enjoy the video. Thank you. God bless you. I keep you all. I have come to encourage you. I have come to strengthen you. I have come to tell you that there is nothing God cannot do. 30 years ago, if not 35 years ago, next year will mark my 50 years do I look 50 35 years ago I began this journey I lost my father and after the burial of my father we went for church revival meeting in Anglican communion and the man of God was preaching Reverend Ramsey Okeke he said that God cannot forsake you that even when your mother and your father will forsake you that God will never forsake you I said God can it be true he called for altar call I came out and I gave my life to Jesus Little did I know that the world class woman has been saved. Little did I know that an icon that has been saved. Little did I know that the Chioma Jesus that has been written in heaven and has been waiting for the day of manifestation. Some of you here will be greater than Chioma Jesus. Some of you here, you will be greater than Nathaniel Bassi. Some of you here, you will be greater than Tim Godfrey. Today is that acceptable year. If I did not answer that call that day, will you know any Chioma Jesus? For the sons of men are waiting for your mighty manifestation. I don't know why God has brought me here. It's because of somebody. The whole earth is waiting for you to manifest. Oh, wow. You can sit down. Hachara me ma e onye na ni abuze onye na ni abuze aboku ne 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 onye na ni abuze onye na ni abuze. And I took a bold step of faith, and the journey of my life began that day. After the burial of my father, we went back to Aba City, a Bible, and I joined Scripture Union in my school. Abadia's high school. The journey of my life began with God. As some of you, you are in JCCF today. So when my mother began to see the transformation in my life, devil entered my mother and she began to persecute me. Every day when I come back from school, she would beat hell out of me. When she sees me praying, because I can pray 12, 13 hours, 
she will come and pour me cold water or hot water. When I go to church and come back, I will sleep outside. She will lock me up. She will beat me. She said I'm a disgrace to her. That she want to take me to America, from America to Australia, from Australia. Some of the things she wanted me to be doing, to do, I, I wasn't doing them. All my earrings, she want me to wear trousers to look like a daughter of a wedding woman. I said no. I want to live for Jesus. I will cook food. I will sweep the whole house. I will wash. I will wash the toilet. Everything I will do. When I cook the whole food, before I will go and come back, they will finish all the whole food I cook. And they will pour water inside the pot. Don't mind the noise at the background. I will Just cry. With me and watch this video. Um, One day I came back from a night vigil. No. Mm. Uh, program. Papa Mokbai came at Abba Park. So when I came back, she was screaming at me. She started beating me. My mother is a nurse. She's a matron. She went inside and brought injection. They used to give a mad man. And the So she was about bringing that ejection. So one person that was living in our yard screamed. They heard her. I ran out of the house. From that day, she rejected me. She said I will never enter her house again. But before that incident, one day she called me. She said, this Bible and dictionary is your destiny. You will choose one. Only two of us was there. I was crying. She said, today you will make your last and final decision in life. She said, this Bible, if you choose Bible, no school, no education, no money, nothing for you. You will be eating Bible every day. You will be going to church. But if you choose this dictionary, no more church, no more fellowship, no more scripture union, no more castle rights, no more effort. David said in the book of Psalms, one to one, for I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, for we are coming my helper. He said, my help will come from the Lord God Almighty who has made the heavens and the earth. So promotion does not come from the south. It does not come from the west. But it comes from above. I hear the devil say, pick dictionary, leave Bible, you will still be going to church. No, nobody will stop you. I hear that small still voice that says, even when your mother and your father will forsake you, I, Jehovah God, will lift you. For promotion does not come from your mother. It does not come from your father. It does not come from your uncle. It does not come from America. It comes from me. Follow me and I will make you a great woman. As I was weeping, my mother was watching at me. I was walking. Flow that keyboard for me. I was walking. I walked to the Bible. No, I first of all, I walked to the dictionary. She was happy. I saw that excitement in her. I turned and I moved to where the Bible is. And I carried my Bible. I said, Jesus is mine. I said, I will follow Jesus. My mother began to weep. As she was weeping, I was rejoicing. As she was weeping, I was rejoicing. She said, from today, I disown you. I left the house. I went to stay with my auntie. When she got the information that I was in her younger sister's house, she called her younger sister to chase me out of her house. But in all things, God will always prepare a man and a destiny helper. So her sister was watching me. I will go to school. I will come back. I will wash. I will iron. I will cook. I will do everything. 
young girls, I want to give you advice. Even if you're serving God, does not stop you from doing your normal work as a young girl. It does not stop you from serving your mother, serving your uncle, doing your normal house duty. That my auntie was watching me. One day she called me with her husband and she said, why will your mother stop you from going to church? I have watched you for this month since you entered this house. You have been doing everything even more than my housemaid can do. I said, Mama, there is something that devil is fighting. He's fighting my soul. He wants me to drop Bible. Because he has seen the glory ahead. Who talks say devil not to see your glory? Now lie. Devil knows what is about to happen. What he wanted to do was just to make me to drop Bible so that today you will not hear Choma Jesus singing for you. My sister, she started, she paid my school fees. I was in school. When they give me school fees, I would trick. I will put the money so that I can use it for my offering in the, in the church. Young girls, so many boys, they were coming to seek my hand for friendship. Can you imagine when your mother has money and she rejected you? Nothing. No money to change clothes. No money to wear the latest slippers. To wear the latest hair, bone straight and bone bend. But the Bible says, what shall it profit a man if you gain the whole world and loses your soul? You are seeing Chioma Jesus today. But you don't know the story. I have a boy. For good three years, he was disturbing my life. He will write a long epistle. He will give to my little sister to come and give me. And when I read those letters, today, boys, they know they know how to write episodes. They don't know how to write love letters. In the next 30 minutes, you are reading the letter. And as you are reading it, the devil is trying to scatter your head. This girl I'm talking about, this guy, Oma Pefime Eba, Onye Nona Dioda Hoste Gana Anushia. He's from a wealthy home. Not only him, others gave up when I refused. But he was here disturbing me. He will come to our house. He will pass 30 times. The Bible says that that I have decided in his heart that he will not defile himself with the king's mates. Devil was still looking for that destiny in me. You carry something. That is why devil is after your life. What kind of money can be compared with the glory that God has revealed in my life? A woman that worth millions of naira a day. What can be compared to the glory that God will reveal in your life? When you go, you sleep with sugar fathers, sugar daddies, and they will take and drain your destiny. In exchange, they give you 20,000, 10,000. Do you know what they have taken out of you? You don't know. He used all means to know me to sleep with him. I refuse. Last year, I saw him. The same guy that was raining and was booming and was doing Jericho. If you see him, he who laughs last, love best. I don't know what God has said concerning you. Though it may tarry, wait for it. For when the appointed time comes, it will speak for itself. Amen.
Yes. I'm talking out of experience. Some boys they will leave their school, they will come to my school. They will enter scripture union. They will enter castle. The guy later entered castle to tell me that he has given his life to Christ so that I can still be we can still be friends. I said no. I cannot do it. Later he said he got repented. He want to marry me. I said no. When you love God, nothing can move you. When you are ready to die for God, nothing can move you. As my mother was persecuting me, I wanted to travel to US with the missionaries because the pain was becoming so much unbearable. And God spoke to me. I heard him audibly. He said, my daughter, you are not going anywhere. You are among the end time army. I will use you. You are among the end time revivalists. Be patient with me. It's a process. Somebody shout, it's a process. If you have a material and you take it to your tailor, on your tailor, or get where I want you to go to he will cut it after cutting it he will cut out the hand after cutting the hand he will cut out the boss after cutting the boss he will cut out the skate after cutting the skate he will iron them he will put gum stay after ironing them he will weave them after weaving them he will begin to fix he will fix the hand he will fix the left hand he will fix the boss he will fix the back he will fix the under. He will fix the everything. Life is a process. Whatever you are going through in life is a process to your greatness. All my classmates, they were laughing at me. They call me Sister Church. They were doing their boyfriends and their girlfriends and their sugar mommy and their sugar dad. Today, they are nowhere to be found. Okay, more has paid me. Tell somebody it pays to serve God. my mother after so many years of rejection I began to pray God touched her heart and I came back it's not up to one year I came back she died she died in my palm we entered another journey of life out of seven children I am the most senior one we relocated to the village and our second journey of life began again our uncle we are living with our grandmother no money to pay school fees I was frying granites Young girls, I want to challenge you. You are carrying a phone of 100,000 in your hand. And you are looking for 50,000 to pay your school fees. 
You are carrying a hair of 150,000, 80,000. And you are looking for 10,000 to buy your handout. I started with 200 Naira granites. As I will be frying my granites. I have no mother. I have no father. I have every ocean. Every option to be sleeping with men around. To get money. To buy pants. To buy brazy. To buy underwear. To make my hair. To buy pad. But because. I have decided in my heart. That I will not defy myself with the king's mate. It's all about your determination. 200 naira, one cup of granite. As I'm frying my granite, I'll be turning the granite. Granite, I fry you with the blood of Jesus. Anybody that does this granite will come again. Anybody that eats my granite will come again. My Jaga, the teachers will buy my granite. Students will buy my granite. Prince will buy my granite. Everybody will buy my granite. 5 a.m. I will wake up. I begin to tie my granite. I will pack it inside my school bag. I will carry my granite. Once we are ready for break. People will gather my seat. Sister Uzamaka, give me granite five naira. Give me ten naira. Give me. As this person opened the granite and threw the granite, the aroma will go into the air. And people will start rushing to my seat. Teachers, we are buying my granite. Our, our principal was buying my granite. From one cup to two cups. From two cups to three cups. Three cups to ten. Ten to twenty. 20 to half bag from half bag to one full bag of granite. I was making money, sister. Do you know that 10,000, 5,000 naira can change your life? I saw a gear one day at GRA Port Harcourt. I went to wash my car with my driver. Anyway, I knew God took me there because of that gear. So I saw two gears, they were washing car. I told my driver, I said, call this gear for me. I was sitting down. They don't know. I was chairman Jesus. I said, why are you washing car? No, the first one, she refused to come. She says, that is that woman. She was in like this. But I knew that she was not the right person. I told my driver, I said, call this one. So he called that one. And that one walked up to me. Yeah, yeah. Masi and naked. I said, more than man. Good afternoon, man. I said, why are you washing car? Who are you? She called her name. She mentioned her name. I'm such a sole person. She said, where did you come from? He said, I'm a student of Uniport University. I said, all the way from Uniport, you are here. Why are you washing car? He said, mama, I don't have money. Even as I'm talking to you, I am not so. But I don't even have 200 naira to buy my pad. So I told my friend, I said, let's come out and wash car and make money. I said, but you have options of it. Don't you have boyfriend? He said, no, mama, I'm a child of God. Hey. The thing rang my heart. I said, you don't have sugar daddy. He said, no, mama, I'm a child of God. I'm on the fasting for the past two weeks. I said, okay. I said, how much do you make here? He said, like 500 naira. I said, if you are given option to do business, what would you like to do? She said, uh, this uh, local beats. You know this local beats? Yes. She said she can go to Abba and be bringing them. I said, how much? Eight years ago. She said, if I can see 5,000 or 3,000. I said, that's all. So I brought out, I'm giving you this testimony so that you can know you can start life with any amount of money. It does not matter how much I was given to you. But what matters is when the presence of God and your heart to do that which pleases God, you will see the hand of God in that. I brought out my check and I wrote 20,000 naira. 
I gave her the check. So she fell down. She started crying and screaming. Then her friend ran to her. So what happened? He said that this mama. So on that check, she saw Chioma Jesus. He said, Mommy, are you Chioma Jesus? I said, Yes. Give me your number. So I had her hand on that check and I prayed with her. I said, This check will make you a millionaire. She walked out. After next two days, she said, Mommy, I've been on the mountain praying. I said, God, connect me to my destiny helper. I don't want to do anything or live anyhow. My mother is a widow. She has been suffering. She left. After she called me, her pastor called me and thanked me. After like two, three months, he said, Mommy, I travel to Ghana. My money is up to 200,000. I go to Ghana and bring all these beads. 20,000 naira it's not up to 3 months she started counting in thousands some people will dash you money you can be using them to go and buy on this at Abba. you come and sell it in this school you make money it does not matter how much you use for business I'm into business I don't do only sing. I have companies. All this equipment, I own them. I have stages. I have canopies. I have chairs. I do business. How much did I start my business with? But today, God has tripled the business within one year. Young boy. Thousand naira can make you a thousand year. It can make you a millionaire. You will be doing those jobs, and you will be still be serving God. Look at all my sons. It was through this music they finish. They train themselves in school. Today, some of them have their own companies. They have cars. They are living in their houses. They have plots. They have properties. They are into diverse kinds of business. Because they want to serve God. You are inexcusable before God. You cannot say it's because I don't have mother. I don't have father. That's why I'm messing up. When I married my husband, another phase started. No money to eat though. My husband was in Delta State. You need to see a handsome man. My son could not go to school because I could not afford 300 naira to pay for his school fees. 300 naira. Early in the morning, he will be beating me. Mommy, I want to go to school. Macho Omega School. Mommy, Macho Omega School. See, a gym is going to go to school. Even the mama put. Ma Korea Nazo. Organe Sumakanazo, Organa Kominghe, Organa Takashimaho, no Chorega school. But can I shock you? He finished from the best universities where I paid millions of naira. What where you came from does not matter. What matters is where Jehovah is taking you to. Can we stand on our feet?